Are you ready to see another legendary stage by Uju Sonia from Queendom, which is gonna go down in history? Another stage going down in history. To be honest, I'm probably still biased towards um, Tell Me Now from the previous group. And I'm super looking forward to Luna performing Butterfly. So everything's still up in the air, but let's watch Uju Sonia's pantomime now. I really love the opening because the dress up style is already so in theme. It's like pantomime, you know it's it's gonna be something magical. And then it's really Uju Sonyo because they represent this mysterious sort of magical type of group. And it's like so fun already. So now they're going to the backstage, I think, and distracting the audience with the cards. Showtime! Oh, that's very cool. I did some investigation because the first time I watched it, I was too stunned to speak. So I decided to watch this again. So I actually have the space in my brain to like talk about it so i kind of investigated how this is done there's like a screen in front of them on uh, which they project the images on and actually the girls were standing behind i still don't know how they light them up behind the screen Magic. It's so Uju Sonyo like um, I know every group usually has certain concept but Uju Sonyo really has a really unique concept and they execute it really well and with all the groups in Queendom despite all my biases um, I wasn't a Uju Sonyo fan but after this stage I'm like becoming one because they really show team spirit they probably have the strongest team spirit at, at least that's how they show on stage like for me as an audience they show the strongest team spirit um even in the, all the previous stages even if they're not like the winning top three or whatever actually i think they were top three but regardless you really whatever they do you really see their team spirit shining through which really make you have hope for this group because you just know they they're so hopeful somehow Magic, like people disappearing, appearing, disappearing, appearing. It's like you're too busy to see what's happening. Let's see that again. Goosebumps. The other thing I thought is so like, they all are professionals, right? Like, a lot of times you find the stage boring, even people just execute the stage really well, but you don't feel anything for the stage because you can't relay like emotionally. It's the most clever stage because this is a song that describes first kiss basically. And they, they present it in a way that's like magical play, kind of like drama. And they're able to kind of really pull this off with their own style and own flavor and taste of basically a really Uju Sonio type of way. I don't know how to describe it, but that's really unique in K-pop. I haven't seen other groups who like pull off something like this and just like stick to this concept doesn't matter what song they're performing it's always this concept and they're doing this so well and each of the girls they're just so pretty are they like the prettiest girl group they're just like so pretty and somehow i don't know 
know whether it's because Bona is back, but it really completes the stage. I can feel everyone kind of feels really confident and maybe it's because they feel like complete again. It's like just so good. It's like the perfect stage for the fans. Yeah, and another thing that's really smart, all their moves are still very um, girly and like kind of uh, mysterious, like that type of move. It's just who they are. So it makes them really iconic as a group. Yeon Jan never disappoints with the vocal. Her vocals are so comforting to hear. It's like when, whenever she's singing, you just kind of relax a bit, but yeah, she can put this off. Well, let me watch that again. I was distracted. Wow, everyone is so confident. You can just see everyone is really enjoying confident um, on the stage. Just look at everyone's facial expression here. I'm like, it makes you feel really happy for them. makes it like a musical. Wow, I don't know why, like, because theoretically the lyrics is romantic, you know, like when we first kissed, but the music itself is really playful and the performance is very musical. And somehow they just, it's just like blends together. You don't feel any conflict. It really blends so well. It makes you really kind of immersed in this musical somehow like it's Oh, I love that part when she did that. Oh. Ah. They really like dolls. Wow, they, they did this perfectly. They really like pause. They really just like dolls being moved in a shop. Oh. Especially they, they focus. They know who to focus. Um, Who's that? Oh, I forgot her name. The prettiest member of Queendom. <laughs> oh, let's see that again. Whoa, they're so pretty. They really embrace the musical, like even like they try, oh my god. Yeah. Oh. Like they know they did well. Just just look look at their ending. Just look at their ending facial expression. It's like 
we nailed it. My favorite part still, it's probably the beginning. It was really magical. Oh, oh this is the magic of Ocho Sonia. Oh my god. Oh, why, why do I feel like crying now? Like, I don't know. Alright, um, this is my reaction to Uju Sonia Pentamime. I, I feel like I couldn't really express how in awe I am in this video somehow, but I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I personally can't wait for Butterfly by Luna um, next week. So I'll see you next week. Bye bye.